Welcome in folks, and today's a blue level intermediate workout day today. It's a little bit more intense, or it's a, it's a lot more intense I should say, than a green level workout. I'm not quite at the purple level, but it is scalable. So all of these, these movements you do today, um, you can either regress the movement in terms of technical ability, or slow them down, focus on form so you're not really pushing your heart rate so much. Um, but I guarantee you, if you want to push today, you will get your heart rate into the orange and the red zone. So this is this is hit in its true form, high intensity interval training. Uh, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Actually, I think it's a little bit shorter, shorter off, but we, um, we're gonna go through the tutorial now. Yes, I am uh, self-conscious about the aggressive high at the beginning. <laughs> so um, just a, a quick note, I might be a little bit sniffly today because I did actually eat some of the world's hottest candies just previous to this as part of a fundraiser. If you want to check out some of the fun we do in uh, in the name of charity and fundraising, check us out live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose. But if you want to jump straight to the workout this morning, have a look in the description below. There's a link to the workout. Otherwise, stick around and we'll talk about all of the movements we're doing today. So today, uh, the first movement that we're going to be doing is the jump lunge. The best way to learn how to jump lunge is to actually take a normal forward lunge and then what we're gonna do is swap stance from right foot forward to left foot forward. So we're gonna jump up into the air, landing nice and softly, taking it nice and slow. The key things to remember with a jump lunge, my torso remains upright. So watch me as I drop down, my torso upright. Nice soft landing onto the knee here. Um, oh, take that timer off, yeah, yeah, uh, sorry, thank you. Um, Nice soft landing, um, and also we're going to remember to keep our feet on railway tracks. All right, so so railway tracks means that we're not going to jump and land like this. Okay, if you jump and land like this, you're likely to to lose balance. So remember to keep the feet spread about shoulder width apart. Lunge forward, keep them spread. You can see it helps with the balance. Okay, so the next movement after a jump lunge is a pike push up. It's like a regular push-up, but what we're gonna do, starting off in our regular push-up position, we're gonna push our butts up into the air, we're gonna make a 90 degree angle, and then lower our head to the floor and up. Now this might be a little bit difficult. If it is difficult for you, grab yourself a cushion, grab yourself a pillow, and focus on lowering your head down to the floor. So, bring it down, and then once your head's there, Use your knees to get yourself back up again. So this is like that negative rep we were doing yesterday, the negative push-ups. Otherwise, complete with shoulders, full push-ups with your butt up in the air. So that's a pike push-up. After pike push-ups, we're doing steam engines. Pretty staple movement for some of our cardio, cardio type programs. Fingertips at the temples, standing up nice and straight. Again, keeping the torso upright. Bring one knee to the opposite elbow and repeat. So as you get a little bit faster, you're gonna feel that steam engine building up, feel yourself getting momentum, that's why it's called a steam engine. So after that, we've got our burpees. Chest to the floor, full hip extension when we jump up. So down, and then jumping, easy. Now, to regress a burpee, if you feel like you haven't got that in you to do the full chest to the floor, full jump up, you can do the squat thrust, hands down, Thrust the legs, stand up, down, thrust, stand up, and you can do it that way if you like. So after burpees, we're gonna hold a plank, 30 seconds. On the floor, forearms, push the legs out, kick the heels back, squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads, hold that, breathe into the belly. If you can't hold it for 30 seconds, drop down to the floor, take a breath for three seconds, and then pop back up and resume for the end of the timer there. After a plank, we're doing side skaters. Now this is a relatively new one. What I want you to think about is moving from side to side um, and the skating motion. So when you see a, you see, see speed skaters go like this, okay? That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna translate that into a lateral movement, jumping side to side, reaching down for the toe, that leg swings back behind you as a counterbalance, okay? So what are you gonna feel with this one? As you land, leg comes back down. Think of those curtsy squats we did the other day. Glute, meat is working a lot. 
punch across. There we go. So we're gonna do lots and lots of side leg today. After the side skate, we drop down to Russian twists or boat twists, however you wanna name them. We're gonna sit back on our butts, leaning back, feet off the floor and twisting left, right, left, right. Fingertips tapping the floor with each one. Now, if you have trouble keeping your feet off the floor, I don't mind it if you wanna drop the feet onto the floor. Just make sure you're leaning back about 45 degrees so you're engaging this core as you twist, okay? That's what we're look, looking to get the work in. After Russian twists, jump tucks. So you can hear me now, I've got the, uh, I've got the heart rate up, I've got the breathing up. Jump tucks are not a full squat, so I don't want you to go fully down in the squat. We do need to squat a little bit because what we want to do is leave the floor. Now when we do leave the floor, we're going to get into a full tuck position. So a regular tuck is kind of like this. With a jump tuck, what we're going to do is leave the floor, tuck it up. Now remember, you want to land nice and softly. Make sure you're landing on soft calves, soft ankles, soft knees. You see how I've got my hands out here? Because I want to be able to kick my hands. I want to bring my, my legs, my thighs up to parallel with the floor. Jump. There we go. So take it at your own pace. You might need to go pretty slowly in the beginning just to get the, get the balance in, get the routine in. Um, but once you've built up your rhythm, you can then start to really make it a bit more aggressive. Tie them into each other. So after jump tucks, we're doing our glute bridge hold. Little bit of a little bit of a rest. It's like the plank from before, but you're gonna find a space on the floor. You're gonna lay back, arms out to the side, feet together, squeeze. Now, instead of us pulsing up and down, like we do in the green level workouts, we're gonna hold this. And what you're gonna think about is your butt and your hamstrings. Every few seconds, check in with yourself because you might start to drop. Just make sure you keep squeezing, keep pushing your hips up towards the ceiling there. And after glute bridge holds, class favorite, fast feet. You're gonna run on the spot. Is this fast enough? No. You know, as fast as you can for that last movement in the routine. We have 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four rounds. So the first round is a practice, second round is to get you in the swing of things. Third round, you're beating second round, and fourth round is a beast mode, which you're all gonna hit today, aren't you? So this is me waving to signify the start of the actual workout. Get your watches on, press go, because in, whoop, we're gonna put this one back up here. In 20 seconds time, we're kicking off with jump lunges. We got you, Goth, we got you. We got your in. The timer's back up on the screen. <coughs> jump lunges. Now, if you're not comfortable with jump lunges, have a shot at a couple of reps. If you don't feel the rhythm of it, I don't mind you just doing step forward lunges. So to begin with, let's go. Step forward lunge, down. But what I would like you to do with the step forward lunges is try and jump up. So enough power that you, you're almost gonna burst up off the floor with that, okay? Power up, down. Bang. So I want you to get used to being a bit more plyometric about this. So down and then burst up off the floor because next round we're gonna do the full jump lunges. Bang. Good, shake that out, okay? Shake it off. We're gonna get ready for the pike push-ups now. I'm still salivating a lot from those hot candies. I feel it going into my sinuses with these pike push-ups. So we'll see how we go. Now, if you're not comfortable with this, if you've got high blood pressure, this may feel a bit uncomfortable for you, so please skip it. If you feel yourself blacking out, or you feel any getting dizzy, anything like that, please rest, please stop. So we're gonna get in that plank position, push the butt up into the air, and we're gonna lower ourselves down. So sometimes you see, people doing push-ups with their butt in the air and they don't mean to, sort of unironic, butt up in the air. Um, sometimes they're doing it because they don't quite know their push-up form. But if we are on purpose pushing our butt in the air, making 90 degrees between our torso and our legs, what we're trying to activate now with these push-ups is pushing up above our head, okay? We're trying to do the body weight equivalent of a shoulder press. And what does that do? It does all these muscles along the top here. 
So pike push-ups are fantastic for overhead mobility, overhead pressing strength. Um, if you don't have any equipment, you can just do your pike push-ups instead. All right, steam engines. <sighs> we're just leaving the station, so we're gonna keep this nice and nice and tame at the moment. Go. So just get the motion in. You don't have to go too hard too fast. Just push, 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 push. Big deep breaths. Make sure you're breathing. If you take those deep breaths now, start oxygenating the blood now, you're gonna feel that you don't need to push too hard when the heart starts pumping because you've got the oxygen in the blood ready to go. There might be some other things affecting your heart rate. For me, I think it's just, I'm still recovering from the, from the heat. Okay, we've got burpees to do. This will definitely get my heart rate up into the green as long as I get the reps in. So think about the reps. Chest flat to the floor, jumping up onto a surfboard, full hip extension. Ten burpees, thirty seconds. There we go. That's kicked me into gear, hasn't it? Big deep breaths. Just need a little bit of a, a little bit of a push. Okay, we're gonna hold a plank. So if you want, you can get a mat. I'm gonna grab my my black mat. Now the mat is purely for your forearms. If you're on a hard floor, hard surface, or if you're outside, I know some people like to do these workouts outside. Sometimes they're on asphalt or bitumen, or even there was a park that I used to work out, which I thought was really good because the floor was nice and soft, but it was made up of like gum nuts and pine needles. So doing a plank on, on gum nuts and pine needles was actually quite brutal on the forearms, it hurt a lot. So squeeze the butt, push the heels back, engage, breathe into the core, good. All right, side skaters. Now, if there's one movement today that you're gonna feel tomorrow, it's your side skaters. And I'm not even sorry about that because the glute meads, <clears throat> the muscles that we're using in our side skaters, super important for stability. They're, they're muscles that, <clears throat> excuse me, even one of my clients is coming in today he needs a lot more of the right hand glute meat. So we're gonna work on that. So you know today, I'm gonna have him do some side skaters like this. See how far you can jump? I'm going about a meter now. I'm gonna use that as, a, as my guide. Next round, I wanna jump a little bit further. Awesome. Walk around, shake it off. You should feel pretty good. You should feel like you're at pretty high intensity and it's not going too crazy. Okay, Russian twist. I'm gonna get the mat. I feel like uh, I'm gonna just treat my bony butt. If you, if you have a, a few issues with sitting on your tailbone there, a mat will make all the difference. Switch, switch. We're doing twists. We're gonna tap the floor with both sets of fingertips. Keep the knees together. I read some very interesting things about nose breathing versus mouth breathing, actually. Which I was gonna, I was gonna put an audio book in today while I'm driving around. Um, when we're doing a movement like that, where, where it's not too high intensity, you're not feeling like you're, you're, you're gasping for breath, 
Try and switch to some nose breathing. It actually helps you to expel carbon dioxide better, apparently. Um, so that's one other thing that's been looked at, expelling more waste, waste material while you're breathing. Very, very good. Okay, Rin, jump tucks. Jump tucks, let's go. So you're gonna jump up, tuck, reset. This is one, you're gonna get that heart rate up, okay? Jump, tuck, jump, tuck. Build the rhythm, get your balance back. How are we all feeling? Check in with me. Even if it's just this. It means you're alive. Those jump tucks get your heart rate up. Good, good. So I say, just keep it at your own pace. Ba-doom, ba-boom, ba Nice. Okay, glute bridge hold on the floor. Push the butt up. And we're just gonna hold this now. So now is an exercise of glute activation, hamstring activation, and isometric muscular endurance. So what do those words mean? Isometric, they're at the same length. We're not shortening them, we're not lengthening them. We're holding the tension at the same length. <clears throat> and the endurance is usually used to denote when we start holding things for a long time. Now there are different types of endurance. Hop up off the floor. There's a, a lot of people like to think of like endurance as running for more than 30 minutes, but there's actually different energy systems that come into play. And there are, there are sorts of endurances that we're talking about, which are under 30 seconds, which is like a big heavy resistance, holding that for less than 30 seconds or about 30 seconds <clears throat> and holding stuff for a minute or two as well, like a plank. You wouldn't go for longer than 30 minutes for a plank. Well, not most of us anyway. Right, fast feet. <clears throat> so this is also endurance, but we're hopefully gonna get a little bit more anaerobic with this. Get the heart rate up. 10 seconds, faster. And take a break. A 90 seconds break, because this is pretty intense, okay? So keep moving, keep breathing. That was round number one. How are we all going? How are you feeling? My stomach is all the gurgles. My stomach is all over the place. But we're gonna push through. If anything, it's actually forcing myself to, uh, to brace a little bit more. I am a little bit more, a little bit more conscious of my efforts. Conscious of letting my, my stomach wobble around so much. <laughs> Dead. Dead, Martha Stewart. Well, you got 47 seconds to come back to life. Cause we're gonna go through that again. <clears throat> now you know what we're doing. You're used to this now. Just find a pace, find what works for you. Okay, here we go. Jump lunges. So now we're actually gonna do the jump lunges. So Rin, I want you to feel, I want you to, to, to have a go at these. Do the actual jumps. Land, compose yourself, jump and land. So I don't care about how fast you go with this one. We're gonna do full form, full, full range of motion, but in your own time, okay? So I'm gonna step forward lunge first. When you get into the right position to start with, and then we're gonna, we're gonna start jumping. So. Lunge. Now what we're gonna do, jump up, land with both feet at the same time, okay? Down nice and easy. Control the descent with your quads and your glutes. Good, power up. So there's a lot of, a lot of quad action going on here. A lot of quad action, some glute action to power ourselves up from the front. Keep your torso upright. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Couple more reps. Good, nice, 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 nice. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of businessy things in. Um. Oh, 
<sighs> lots of things going on, lots of stuff. Okay, pipe push-ups. Rin, how do you feel with these ones? Um, you can actually, you can actually go up onto a platform if you like. You can go either way. So I'm still, still going to remain from the floor here. Straighten those legs out. Get a nice 90 degree angle. So we're going to push our, we lower our heads and then push our heads away from the floor. Try not to have a, an aggressive bang extension. Try not to do that. I sometimes do it and it's naughty, it's bad. What you need to do is a nice soft extension. Because <sighs> what the last thing we want is, uh, is what we call hyperextension. <sighs> so hopefully with those movements there, you're feeling your triceps and your delts, your shoulders here. Um, called delts because they look like a delta. They look like that V shape. <clears throat> Most, there's a lot of muscles in the body that are actually named after the, the shape that they are. The trap, the traps, trapezius, trapezoids, the delts, like a delta, rhomboids, like a rhombus. Okay, steam engine. You cannot, you cannot get floor low yet. Ah, I like that. Yet. Good. You will. Don't stress. There's always, there's always something. Um, and with a lot of people, shoulder strength, overhead shoulder strength is a big area of opportunity. Um, that'll help you get there, Rin. Definitely help you get there. <clears throat> it is also hard to do a lot of shouldery type stuff. Now, people do often get some leg exercises in if they're climbing stairs to work or if they're, you know, they're sitting up and getting down often. They're, they're doing inadvertent squats, right? But it's rare that you do inadvertent shoulder work. Um, burpees, let's go. <clears throat> the types of people that do do inadvertent shoulder work tend to be um, people like Makalito. Tradies, people that do have physical jobs where they are moving things or installing things or, you know, painting. There is, there is an inadvertent amount of shoulder work there. Mechanics, when they're uh, working under cars and they're working up above their heads, um, you'll often find very good grip strength, pretty okay shoulder mobility as well because they are doing a, a job that requires that. So yeah, Woody, exactly. If you're, if you work in a trade, if you work in a physical job, you will find that you sometimes have a bit more of a, uh, of a physical basis um, than people that don't do those sorts of jobs. Okay, let's go. We've got a plank to do. I'm gonna hold this 30 seconds. So use a mat if you want to. Use a blanket or a towel if you need to. Just keep your shoulders over your elbows. Squeeze your butt, push your heels back. Engage the quads, engage the, the glutes. Breathe into your belly, please. Going for that nasal breathing. Trying the nose breathing. Feels good. <laughs> yeah, walking your 50K Labrador. Absolutely. 20 kilo bags of salt. Yep. Yep. Um, I remember there was a lad. Uh, my, my, my mother being of Asian descent, she had lots of other Asian friends and one of them owned a, an Asian grocery. And there was a young lad there. He was quite young at the time when I remember him. Side skaters. And he would, he would be in charge of moving the bags of rice around. The big 20 kilo bags of rice. And uh, <coughs> you know, just, just as, as happens with kids and with, with time flying like it does. A few years later, I went back and visited and young Andrew had, a, had transformed from the little, the little rice boy into a, a, a hulking adolescent of a, of a rice bag carrier. And he was now carrying like four or five bags of rice on his shoulders. So it's that, that story of Milo, isn't it? except the rice bags don't grow and it wasn't a, it wasn't a calf. But yeah, just conditioning. He got swole, yeah. Little Andrew got swole. 
Um, his way. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, Russian twists. I'm gonna get my mat. I'm gonna protect my butt. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna speed these up a bit now. I wanna maintain form. I wanna try and keep my feet as stable as possible, but increase this mobility of my upper body by twisting left and right. Now, if you're doing this workout and you've got a bit of a belly, what I'd like you to do instead, reach behind, okay? So lean back, but reach behind, because I know what it feels like. You have it in your mind, you wanna do Russian twists, but you've got a bit of a belly that you're working on. If you've got that, like this in the picture here, um, don't feel embarrassed. Don't stress. Sometimes it happens. Now this guy on the left, me on the left, I couldn't do Russian twists to save my life. But what you wanna do is you wanna try and find something that's gonna work the same sort of muscles in a very similar way, in a range that you can work with. So if that's putting your feet down and just reaching behind you, really opening up those chests, engaging those back muscles, it's just as good. So jump tucks, let's go. Start breathing. You should have already been breathing heavily. Welcome in. How are you? Failing? Failing gamer. <laughs> Welcome to FFP, where we are. We are 19 minutes into our 45 minute workout. We're on a 30 second break right now, so welcome in, welcome in. You've been late for a couple of days. Ah, oh, good on you. Good on you, thanks for the follow. So we're on a blue level workout. <laughs> and if you're watching YouTube as well, you'll know this. You're here because it's a blue level. The green levels are a bit easier. If you need to take a uh, recovery day, if you need to dial it back a little bit, get into the green workouts. And if you wanna go to an epic tier, go to the purples. So right now we're holding a glute bridge. This may seem like a rest, and if it does, put a bit more focus into your glutes and your hammies. Push them up, okay? Squeeze the glutes. Breathe into the belly, use the nose. Nose breathing feels so good. I understand sometimes if you've got a bit of a, bit of a sniffle, a bit of a cold, it can be hard. How to make a milkshake. Tell you what, the belly's shaking around. <laughs> yup. Okay, we got fast feet now. So I'm just gonna leave this, uh, I might move it a bit, just cause I do tend to drift while I'm fast feeding. Ready? Your five seconds thing. <clears throat> oh, no stress, uh, Phelan, do you mind using the, um, the question cue? If you do your exclamation mark Q and paste in your question, I'll be able to answer it. Okay, fast feet, faster, faster. You gotta paste the question in, Woody. Here we go, this is how we do it. Um, no stress, Phelan. Um, what I'm gonna do, there we go. <clears throat> Sweet, so I'll get to that one. Um, Achilles tendon, you're not a hardcore workout person, but you try enough to look good. Okay, let's talk about that after. That's a good, that's a good question. There's a bit of a, um, <clears throat> we can have a bit of a discussion about that and I don't mind it. <sighs> Dropped this ball in your face and just laid there. Ugh. That's a heavy popper. 50 kegs. Big heavy doggo. Doggo. Um, I do have a... I got a 55 kilo dead ball. Have you seen that? Have I shown you that before? 55 kegs? Remind me to get that out after. Um, show Rin the 55 kilo dead ball. And I'll show you how, how to actually pick up a 55 kilo dead ball. <clears throat> okay, round number three. So what I want you to do now, we're halfway through this workout, okay? We're over halfway through. 
Um, the, the reps that you did last round, I want you to remember how that felt and I want you to push a little bit harder this round, okay? This is kind of the peak. This is where I'd like you to climax during this one. And then if you've got a second round in you, go, go for the fourth round. I didn't, I didn't mean to make that kind of uh, euphemistic there. But uh, look, take it as you will. Let's go, jump lunges. So I'm not stopping now, you see? I'm building up a rhythm. Good, take a break. Rest those quads. If you're like me, after yesterday, the quads are feeling it, okay? Um, oh, it's gotta be exclamation. Here, give me a sec, give me a sec. Give me a sec, I can fix it. No, 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 no worries. No worries. I have no issues with the, uh, with the long explanations. It gives me more details to work with. Gives us a bit more of an idea. Pike push-ups, let's go. <sighs> Butt in the air. So Rin, focus on where you can get to and just work to that threshold, mate. So drop your head to wherever you think that point of no return is. And every now and then, just poke it. Just tickle it. Tickle the point of no return. Just, just, just have a play with that threshold point. Because you might surprise yourself. One day, once you've done a bit more training, you're gonna strengthen up and you're gonna be able to push through that barrier and actually get a little bit further than what you thought there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, P90X3 failing gamer. I know all too well the P90s as well. Um, so P90X is what I started with. <coughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, look, laughing burns calories as well, Rin. It's a, it's a good time. Can you imagine the fun we'd all have if we actually had a big old room with me at the front of it, running you all through a bloody workout? How much fun would that be? Let's go faster. Sounded like a sounded like a steam engine for a second there. Yeah, quite the party. Oh yeah, that'd be so fun, wouldn't it, Grace? We'd have we'd have the lights, we'd have the smoke. It'd be like P P ninety J F J J fifty five J J sixty nine. We'd do better than F forty five. Heaps better. J sixty nine. That would actually work, to be honest. 69 minute workout. Get your burpees in. Just gonna say it. Doing a thousand burpees last week, or the week before, whatever. I feel great. Burpees actually feel, doing 10 burpees feels, feels good, feels fun. How, how do you have fun doing 10 burpees? Do a thousand of them, so you know what it feels like. Strong, oh yeah. Yeah, feel decent. Okay, here we go. Get your mat out again for your planks. I'd like you to hold your plank. Now Rin, Listen to me, I want you to bump this up. Form your plank, okay? Now, what I want you to do is imagine you're hugging a concrete ball. So now, push your spine up towards the ceiling. Just have a quick look up at me. Look at my spine. I'm still tucking my butt. I'm still squeezing the quads and the glutes, but I'm hugging a concrete ball now. So I'm forming what they call a hollow body. <clears throat> so what this does, this strengthens your serratus. They're those and those shark gill muscles that, that are just underneath your, underneath your, your breast tissue. So these shark gill muscles, they're the ones that, they hold you in a nice, strong, hollow body position, okay? 
So that's a really, really, really good adaptation of a plank. Um, and fun fact, we had to do a five minute hollow body plank just to pass the auditions for Ninja Warrior. What a time. Can't even think about doing that right now. It's, a, it's brutal. Here we go. It was funny though, because you could tell that they were still trying to figure out the best way to whittle down the people that they, they wanted on the show. And they were just trying to think of good exercises for people to do. Now the plank, I think was just a throwaway one. It was just, okay, we're just gonna throw this in here to see who can do it and who can't. Who's got a good core? But it was more for a, it was more for who actually put on a show, who had fun with it. You owe me one plank? All right, Dexter. How good is Dexter for a dog name, by the way? Love it. Is he just the opposite of dexterous though? Dex, dexterity? And you just have like a, 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 a papa that goes like this, shaking his tail and just walks into stuff. Just, they're the best kind of Labrador shakes when they're shaking so hard that they just, yeah, they just like knock over, they knock over coffee tables and china cabinets and lamps. And they just wave, wave and wave and so hard. Ooh, just so much love and happiness in a puppy. Yeah. Especially if they've got like a big, meaty, muscly tail as well. And they're just going. All right. Yeah, tails are. All right, jump tucked. Okay, Rin, I want you to follow my tempo. Follow my lead, please. We're gonna string these together now, okay? So for the first 15 seconds, we're just gonna warm up into them, okay? Sorry. There. We're gonna do what we did last time for the first 15. And then we're gonna double time this. So your heels are not gonna hit the floor, okay? Your heels are rarely gonna hit the floor. Three, two, one, go. How'd you go? How's that feel? Is he like, sweep the leg, Johnny? So sweep the leg, Dexter. Sweep the leg. Sweeps. <laughs> Was that good? Did you like that? How's your heart rate? I'm in the red. I'm in the red. I'm in danger. Blue bridge hold, let's go. I like it how I can just casually get into the red mode. It's good, it feels good, it feels fun. You can have that too, if you're watching at home. It uh, comes with a good VO2 max. Practicing this nose breathing. Nice, that feels good. Yeah, look at that, look at this guy. Oh, you can't see it on camera. It's just wet floor. Lollum, how you going? Oh, if Jeff was a dog, what breed would he be? Red healer. I reckon I'd be a red healer. You reckon? Border Collie maybe? Yeah, ready, fast speed. Hey! Grace, thank you so much. Failing Gamer, welcome to the community. Now you're not gonna see any ads. Grace has just chucked you a, uh, Grace has chucked you a, a subby. Seven more seconds. Yeah, uh, breathe, breathe, walk around. 
Remember, walking isn't just about, isn't just about stopping your blood from pooling. The little micro contractions, the contractions of the calves, contractions of the quads, all the little squeezing of the muscles also helps to pump blood around. So it takes a bit of strain off of your heart, okay? So just remaining active is uh, super important because you don't want your heart doing all the blood pumping all the time. If you can just move around, squeeze your butt, squeeze your legs, loosey-greasy, you're just gonna get blood flowing anyway. So make sure that you're getting some activity in all the time, every day. It doesn't have to be super, you don't have to do jump tucks all the time, just a little bit. All right, welcome in. Failing gamer, you have some cool emotes now. Give me a banger. Give me a banger. Um, I should have some new ones in soon as well. Um, our artist is, is working, he sent me some drafts. So I'll have some new cool ones in very, very soon. All right, Rin, this is our last one. Jump lunges, please, please. We're gonna step forward into a lunge first, and then we're gonna go back and forward. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scumbag this. Oh, hello, hello, how are we going? How are we going, kettlebell? So you see why I hold my hands in front of me when I do these without a weight, is because what I wanna do is get used to being able to hold a weight while I do them. So we're gonna get some extra, extra leg work in today. Cause we didn't do enough squats and deads yesterday, apparently. Two, one, good, good. So very simple ways to increase how much work you're doing. And it shows, look at the heart rate. Pike push-ups. Now there is a way to increase the intensity of this. Would you like to see it? Would you like to know more? Let me show you. This is how we increase the intensity of a pike push-up. You tuck your shirt in, and you elevate your feet. So still in that pike. The pike is the 90 degrees between the torso and the legs. So this, my friends, is how you progress up to a handstand push-up. So remember what I said, round four is about beast mode. You do what you need to. If you wanna do straight on the floor, go for it. Otherwise, try and push yourself a little bit more with each one of these rounds, okay? Steam engines. The only real way to boost these is to go faster. So that's what we're gonna do. Keep your head upright. Keep your chest upright, okay? Hot in here now. I went from super cold after those chilies. Go. Keeping the head upright. You see, look, I'm, I'm hardly dipping my neck at all. It's my elbows that come down and my knees that come up super high. You want to speed it up? Last 10 seconds. Run. Good in, good in. Shake it off. How you feeling, Rin? How you going? Anyone watching on YouTube as well? Don't give up. You've got just under seven minutes to go. You've come this far. You've come this far. Burpees. So find your pace. Find your rhythm. Ten more seconds. Well done. We're living in this orange zone now, which is fine, which is good. A 
Big deep breaths into the belly. All right, we're gonna plank today. I'm not gonna rub my eyes. There's sweat in them, but I just wanna be careful. Okay, plank. Straight, uh, straight legs. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads, push the heels back. Form that hollow body if you want. <clears throat> if you want to do the hollow body plank, get a little bit of extra serratus work, a little bit of extra tension on the shoulder blades there. <sighs> but just focus on the shoulder blades. Make sure they don't shift over the 30 seconds. Set them in place, stabilize them, and then work with it. Good. I am. Um, to be fair, Jason, like if I were to say, yeah, yeah, I think I'm back to normal now, Jason. Um, I think I've forgotten enough the burn that was in my mouth and throat and, and nose. My belly is a bit iffy at the moment, but to be honest, it was probably just because I smashed that, that ice cream very fast. Side skaters, let's go. I want to see how far you can go. Rin, go for, go for two meters. We're really pushing it now. Like I said, round four is the beast mode round. You don't have to go hard if you don't want to, but if you feel like you've got it in you, nothing wrong with pushing boundaries today. So, hold it back, how you going? We're on a short break. We're then gonna jump into our Russian twist. So let's go. Welcome in, hold it back. So we're gonna bring our feet up. We're gonna tap on the floor each side of our body, trying to keep the feet pretty stable, trying to balance, but remember what I said, if you have a bit of a belly, don't be embarrassed, don't stress, just do your turnarounds. So reach behind, reach behind. Otherwise, lift your feet if you can, try and push boundaries now. Show the world what you got. Go, 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 go. Two, one, nice, nice. All right. Jump tucks. So we're gonna do the same as what we did last round. Rin, we're gonna go half time. And then for the last 15 seconds, double speed. Okay? So get your bearings. We go at the, at the, the normal pace to begin with. So we're gonna go straight into jumping, lose your balance, fall over. We don't want that, okay? So we're gonna jump. Two, one, tuck. So it's a full tuck. Get your, get your knees up so that your, your shins are parallel, your, your thighs are parallel to the floor. Good, and double time now. Oh, good, 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 good. Breathe, break, rest. Walk around. How good is Tuesday? I want you to leave today feeling like you've achieved something brutal, something good. Okay, glute bridge hold. Just remember as well, this is blue. We haven't yet unlocked the full purple mode for this. There are purple modes, believe me. There are epic tier workouts. A bit more challenging than this. So if you're doing this going, oh, that's pretty easy, Jeff. Check out the purples. Squeeze the butt, push the hips up. Don't think about them if you don't need to. Just think about breathing in and out. Nice. I reckon I might have the delivery. Give me a sec. Might have the delivery.
Yup. Okay, fast feet, go, go. Let's finish off. You know, you're in the end of the time now. Ten more seconds. Go, go, go. Let's calm it down, let's walk around. So YouTube, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me on that. Fantastic. And Twitch, if you're here, give me a, let me know that you're around. Let me know that you're here. We're just gonna walk around, I'm just gonna cool it down. Like I said before, don't just lay on the ground. It may be, it may be tempting to lay on the ground like you've just eaten a Carolina Reaper candy. <clears throat> Don't. Walk around. It puts, you, you hear, you, know, you remember, if you're my age, you probably remember hearing about those, uh, those old wives' tales or whomever, about, uh, you know, people that work out too much and their hearts just stop. It's not, it's not that simple, right? It's not that simple. It's, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot that goes into athleticism and there's a lot that goes into exercise. Um, and a big part of that is if you go too hard and then you just stop straight away, there's like what I mentioned before, a lot of stress goes into your heart if you just lay down and rely upon your heart to bring you through that epoch, that excess post oxygen consumption phase. You gotta keep moving, you have to keep moving just to cool yourself down. And like I said, it's the small muscle contractions. It's all these micro contractions that help push the blood around the body, takes some effort off of your heart. Cause your heart does do a big job. It does, it definitely does get stressed. Um, and one of, the, one of the things that they do see in a lot of athletes that don't look after their, their warm ups and their cool downs um, <coughs> is, uh, I think it's called athlete's heart actually, where the right ventricle and the, the right atria sometimes form holes or they don't fire properly. They, they, they fibrillate a little bit. So that's a thing. So just make sure you cool down. The, the moral of the story, chill out, cool down. Um, so YouTube, thanks for joining me. Check out the, the other blue workouts. If this was your cup of tea, then check out the other blue cups of tea out there. There's some purple tea, which is really, really good for, for really pushing yourself. And if you are having some, some, some cycling days, if you're gonna go some low intensity and some high intensity, and you're looking for some low intensity stuff to do, check out the green videos, the entry level ones. So catch us live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose. If you wanna join in the fun live on a weekday morning here in Adelaide time, all right? See you later.